Hey everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. Uh, we are about where we last left off. Um, yeah, and basically, we just beat the Kimono Girls, got Surf, and we are ready to take on the rest of the Johto region. Actually, first, I'm gonna... Let's see, which Pokemon do we have on us? Yeah, I'm gonna go to um, Bill first and pick up our Pokemon. That way, we'll do something other than just battle trainers this whole episode. So, I want to start off with a quick little notice. Um, this video is going to be out a little bit later today. I'm sorry about that, guys. But, uh, I had to... Well, the part came in for my car. Got the handle on. And now I have a passenger side handle. So, that's good. It's always good to have handles on the passenger side of your car. That way, others can enter your car quite easily. Um, but the reason I mention that is uh, my video's out late, but to kind of make up for that, today I'm going to release another special video, so... Ooh, Growlithe. I like Growlithe a lot. I'm not going to catch him, though, because I already have a Fire-type. But, nah, that's okay. I actually made the mistake of um, evolving Sandshrew early because... Because I think he learns moves faster if you don't evolve him, or something like that. I don't know. But needless to say, I hope you enjoy the video I'm going to release today. I think you all will. I hope so, anyway. I know I had a great time recording. It was really fun. So first I have to go to the Pokemon Center and deposit a Pokemon, which is probably going to be Togepi. Uh, let's see. All the way over to the PC. I still love how today's technology is better than in this game. And back when this game came out, like, this stuff was, like, almost unheard of half the time. So, goodbye, Togepi. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna withdraw Togepi. You know why? Because I'm gonna put him in the daycare center. Now, you may be thinking, that is such a bold move. Well, it really isn't, because that's what a lot of people do with their Togepi when they get it. So, yeah, pretty average move. It's okay, but it'll get him trained up, and yeah, raise Togepi, please, Mr. Old Guy. There you go. Okay, I'll raise your Togepi. Come back for it later, and I'll be back in a year or two. I remember one time I put my Togepi in there, and when I came back, it was like level 70-something. Ridiculous. I did not mean to do that. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but... It's just a little strange. Um, where's Bill's house? I kind of forgot where he lives. Oh, there's a sign in front of his house. There's a sign in front of every important house. This is his house. That's not his house. I lied. I'm sorry. Is this his house? This can't be his house. No, that's the name guy. Okay, it's down south. See, I... You could tell I play this game every day. This way. Yep, I... Nope. Okay, I saw it. It's, it's this way. For real this time. This is his house. No, it isn't. Oh, man. Um, is this his house? If I can't find... this. Why didn't he have a sign in front of his house? Yeah, give me your Eevee, you jerk. You not having a sign in front of your house? That's not nice. It, it confuses the veteran players. Okay, so just give me the EV and I'll be on my way. I hope it's a high level, like level 20 or so. That'd be really nice. Uh, no, we're not going to give him a nickname. Not yet. Let's see, so how's our EV doing? Level 20, awesome. He can just be right in front of the team then. And Egg will stay with us too, because Egg, you know, he may not seem like it, but he's a very valuable member of our team. I mean, sure his talents go unnoticed every single day, but... You know what? I'm glad he's there. It, it helps boost morale. Okay, so now to continue on with our Pokemon adventure for real. And we'll just get out of Goldenrod City. Hopefully for a long time. I don't want to have to backtrack too much. Actually, I'm going to see if the bug catching contest is up today. It is Monday, I believe. Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. Feels like Monday. Don't believe so. Regularly in the park, you should give... Okay, well, when? When's regularly? You know, I think I saw, like, a schedule on the wall. Maybe this is it. 
Uh, catching counts is held on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Oh, man. Oh, well. Hopefully I'll be able to record this in one of the, those days pretty soon. Okay, so no more bug catching contests. Not yet, anyway. Hopefully we'll... Oh, man. I kind of want to use a repel, but it's kind of a waste since this is pretty much the only grass they're going to be going through. And there's almost no point of fighting these guys. Hi, Eevee. You are awesome. Eevee's been one of my favorite Pokemon for a long time. I mean... Just because he evolves into so many different Pokemon, I mean, you get pretty much any option. I like to, just for fun, make like an entire competitive battling team for uh, Eevees. So you can have like, I mean, they're all balanced too, because they can cover each other's weaknesses and, you know, stuff like that. But I'm sure a lot of you Pokemon fans know that. Let's hopefully not get caught. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Grass. You're cool. Sometimes. Beat the gym, that was pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Because, oh, I love this music. I don't know why, it's just good. Here, there's Angry Guy. I've been overseas, so I know about all sorts of Pokemon, matey. Yeah, he's obviously a sailor, just look at his eyes, he's all Angry Eye Guy. Sailor Harry would like to battle. Okay, Harry, let's see what you got. Wooper? Ha! Huh. You make me laugh sometimes. And wow, this Eevee isn't very good. But will he be able to defeat Wooper? Um, and we'll find out in the next episode. See you guys! I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna end the episode here. I might do that one of those days though, just to mess around, see what people think. So, things to talk about. I don't know if you guys follow Minecraft UHC, but I've mentioned it in my Minecraft video, my last one I think. Uh, it's finally over, and I'm not going to give away any s well, I guess since it's over I can give away spoilers. Nah, I won't talk about it. All I can say is congrats to the people who won. Um, it was uh, unexpected to say the least. I. It makes sense, but at the same time it's like, wow, that ended quickly. Um, and if you follow Team Dookie at all for the UHC, um, I recommend watching B00's perspective. Etho has a good perspective too, but, um, no, who am I kidding? Just watch them all. They're all great. Um, tackle. Because that's all we can do at this point. Oh, that's not gonna help us. I really want to train this Eevee, but I don't know what to evolve it into. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Also, tomorrow, I'm not actually going to start a new series yet, but I am going to have a video for you guys. Um, it's basically going to be me explaining the story of Slender the Arrival. Because um, I was confused on it, I know some of you probably were. I mean, because of the way my playthrough was, I didn't pick up enough of the evidence to really understand too much about it, so that's why it would have been confusing for people. So, I'm basically going to explain that, it's probably going to be a pretty short video, I'd say 10 minutes max, and in that video, or this one if you'd like, um, please leave a comment with a, a new game you'd like me to play, because I'm open to suggestions, I have a few ideas, but... I'm really kind of hesitant on both of them for for reasons, but if it comes down to it and those are the only two I have in mind, then I will play one of them and hopefully you guys you, you will enjoy it. One of them I kind of want to wait till the summer to play just because I won't have as much school to worry about. 450, wow, that's pretty good. What else do you have? Side up, okay, so this one won't take too long, hopefully. Let's see. Nope, it'll still take a while. But you know what? What am I doing? I have tail lift. This will make it take less time. Your defense has fallen, you fool. Oh, confusion. That's pretty... That's pretty cool. He's got a neat little attack right there. He pretends he's confusing me. I mean, you know. Whatever. Floats your boat, Psyduck. Okay, this might be a little... 
harder than I thought. I don't know if this will... I did a lot more damage, but this might... Oh, if he got that disable off. Okay, so I'm gonna use another super potion. And the reason I'm keeping uh, Eevee alive is because I want him to catch up to the rest of the team at least. He's a little bit weaker than them, but uh, he's pretty close, so that's why I like him in the team. And my thoughts are, I kind of want to make him a Jolteon just to kind of give my team some more balance. Because I have Fire, Water, I have Rock, um, and Ground, which, eh, that's not very good balance. So Jolteon would definitely help me counter my Water Weakness with uh, Pseudo Widow and uh, Sand Slash. But they're, you know, I, I love Umbreon too, but he just doesn't seem like a very great fit for the team. Espeon's really good also. Um, pretty much, it's gonna be a no for Vaporeon and Flareon. Nothing against them, it's just I already have a Water type and a Fire type. Yeah, this one I'm not gonna use any potions on, so let's open up with a... Oh, good, he used Barrier, so I can use... Two tail whips to basically get rid of that, and I already used one, so that's good. And if I, depending on, okay, yeah, this will be my last tail whip. I was gonna say if that confusion didn't do enough damage, I would have just uh, used another tail whip. Uh, this might end Eevee's battle right here. Oh man, I hate Mr. Mime. Now he has to fight Sand Slash, and he's got Slash to deal with. Which, ah, take that! And that wasn't even a critical hit. See, this guy's a fool. He messed with the wrong trainer. Did not stand a chance. Schoolboy Chad. You need to go back to school, Schoolboy Chad. You really think you could beat my entire team with just a Mr. Mime? How about you? Do you want to battle? Don't you think my Pokemon and I are beautiful? Uh, probably not. Sorry, but you have blue hair. Yeah, you have blue hair. Um... Nothing against people with blue hair, but that's a little bit weird. I mean, it, it doesn't look dyed either, it looks just like natural blue hair. What happened to you? Oh, oh yeah, of course, those rock type. Wait, what? They didn't have double types. I think it's rock water, but... Huh. Well, what do you know? Oh, yeah, it's... I guess it's only rock type. That's... I need to be a Corsola. That's pretty dang good. Um, let's see. I can... Hope for a critical hit, basically. This Corsola is powerful. Stop using bubble! 10 damage each turn, that's pretty good. So, if he gets a critical hit, I'm done. Is he gonna get critical? Nope. But that did more damage than 10, so I'm going to... Super Potion. Because I have all of them, why not, you know? Uh, wrong one. Didn't mean to use it on Eevee. There we go. And that should do, what, 11-ish? Yeah, okay, it does 11 now. I don't know why I was thinking 10. Or maybe it changed, who knows? Maybe it just did 10 by chance, and it's normally 11. Nonetheless, Corsola's gone. Goodbye, Corsola. We drink Moo Moo milk every day. Okay, I guess it gives you strong bones, but I don't... Doesn't explain the blue hair. How about you? Do you know what the blue hair is all about? Fly high into the sky, my beloved bird Pokemon. You know, that reminds me. I was hit by a bird today, and you, you might be thinking, haha, you got pooped on by a bird. No, um, I was walking from my class, and a uh, big gust of wind came, and, you know, as I was swinging my arm, I just. a bird flew right into it, and it was a pigeon, he fell down. He just, like, made a noise and fell down. It was the weirdest thing. The dumb birds can't even fly right. Oh yeah, take that. One hit. So that is my interesting story of the day. 
In other news, a cop sped around me when I was doing the speed limit. Um, it's not really news though, that seems to happen a lot, unfortunately. Oh well, he must have been late for his uh, donut break or something. So let's end this battle here. Bird guy, thank you for reminding me that I was hit by a bird today. Gave me some decent commentary, I guess. Birdkeeper Toby, you are you're a decent guy. You got kind of the weird hair going on, too. Uh, maybe he can explain it and he's just hiding it. It must be a secret. Okay, so when I came in, I went that way, so I gotta go this way. Another blue hair person. What's with all the weird hair people here? Hi, aren't you a cute trainer? May I see your Pokemon? Um, yeah, if you like whatever the heck Sandslash is. It's like some kind of rabid mongoose thing. And you got little leafy... It looks like a turnip or... A messed up turnip or something, I don't know. Oh, why am I using Slash? You should be using Poison Sting. You cannot defeat Sand Slash, you fool. About to use Skip Loom. Oh, this thing is at least gonna be a flower with green underneath it, which I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Take that, super effective, but it's still. Yeah, that's the thing about Poison Sting. It's such a weak attack. That even though it's super effective and Slash isn't, I won't get a one-hit KO on it. Oh, but this might take care of it. Oh no, you have tackled me and I lost three health. Okay, that didn't work. So we're just gonna finish it off with another Poison Sting, so take that, Skiploom. You have been dispatched of. How do you feel now? I'm glad I got to see your Pokemon. Why? He's not cute or anything. He's vicious. It's not even a he, it's a she. Oh, good, a berry. Give that to Eevee to hold on to, actually. Uh, no, I don't want to use that again. Berry, berry, berry. Uh, oh yeah, it's in here. I forget they don't organize it by uh, item types anymore, so let's give this berry to Eevee. And Quick Claw. Who's their slowest? I'd say Suda Widow is. to Quick Claw to him. Um... And obviously the Quick Claw, if you don't know, um, it makes them a little quicker. Occasionally they'll get the first attack in. Well, that's not very nice. As soon as I hit the grass, uh, rat guy, purple rat. Goodbye, I'm not fighting you, I'm not gonna waste my time. We've got an episode to finish. Okay, so I'm almost to Alvine City already. I think I'm going to Alvine, yeah. I don't need to end up in Alvine. Need to bypass it. Which, um, I guess it's kind of cool, but it's annoying. I have to go through the lighthouse first, though. Oh, I don't really like the lighthouse too much. It's alright, but, you know. It's one of those typical places. It's basically the equivalent to a cave, except you know where you're going. So let's slash the slowpoke. Wow, he's got a lot of defense on him. Well, he's gonna pay for that. He just spit on me. That's what water gun is in this game. It's like spit because it's only three drops of water. So, that's kind of disgusting. Oh well. Wait, what was his name? Was his name Moron? Oh, Norman. <laughs> I read that wrong. Yeah, why would they name someone Moron? Unless he is one. But usually psychics, um, you know, when you think of psychic people, you don't think of morons. Super effective, um, I'm gonna basically ignore that for now because I can just power my way through this trainer. Wow, this moron guy is pretty good. Ooh, yeah, he's really good. I can better make sure I hit with this attack. Take that, little stinger. Let's see. Ooh, your Pokemon have potential. Yeah, they do. They're pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Now, this place is, um... Mint Berry, that's pretty useless, I think. This is where there's a sick mill tank in here. I can't capture it or get it or anything, but basically, all it is is you give it enough berries, and, um... Once you give it enough berries, it'll become healthy again, and then you could basically just go there and get Moo Moo Milk, I think. I think that's what it does. It's a good investment, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I'll do that. 
just because uh, I don't need it. Pikachu, cool. It's been a while since I've seen a Pikachu. Okay, Pikachu, to prepare to be fainted. I hope. Oh yeah. Easy mode. Sand Slash, level 26. Best Pokemon ever. Oh, she doesn't mind something, but she gave me like a thousand dollars. Oh, what do you want, Todd? Are you... Is this a deal about the department store? Oh, no, no, I don't want to battle you. No, you're too far away, sorry. Sorry, bro. Uh, oh, who are you? You just have hair on the top of his head. Either that or it's a hat that's the same color as his skin. Nah, he's kind of bald. Pokefan Derek wants to battle. Okay, Derek, you have a Pikachu too! It's the Pikachu Land. And this will be just as easy as the last one. Take that! Oh yeah. Eh, nothing to it. Okay, Derek, step aside. Ooh, he gave me like a thousand dollars too. These people are really generous. You beat me in Pokemon, take all my money! Man, I wish the real world looked like that. Why do you hope it gets dark soon? This person's a vampire, run! Oh, that was close. Oh wow, you got some good vision, angry eyes, sailor. I just got back to Olivine, so how about a Pokemon battle? Yeah, okay, that doesn't seem like a reason for a Pokemon battle, but... It seems I can't do anything about it. <laughs> sailor Eugene. Eugene the Sailor. Poliwhirl, level 17? That's not right. You're a cheater, my Poliwag is level 22 or so. You can't do that. I want to know how they do that. I remember the gym leader had to level 9 Pidgeotto. Which isn't even possible. You can catch Pidgeys at a higher level than that. Okay, so... All this will be interesting. Poliwag versus Poliwhirl. So let's headbutt it right in the swirly. Did you know? Oh yeah, you did. Well, if you watched my earlier episodes, ep earlier episodes, yeah, I can talk now. Um, it says in the Pokédex that that swirl on Poliwhirl and Poliwrath and Poliwag, that's its insides. So that's like its intestines and stuff. I thought that was disgusting. Oops, I used the wrong attack. We don't want to do that. We want a headbutt. Although this might work out pretty well. No, only twice. Okay, so let's do a headbutt. Hopefully it'll flinch. Please? Yes, it flinched. Good. Now we get another attack in. And that is the battle. I don't think he had another Pokemon, did he? Okay, good. Maybe Poliwag will evolve when he defeats Krabby. And if you haven't guessed, Krabby's a crab. Okay, hypnosis. You're sleeping. I'm gonna headbutt you now. I'm gonna headbutt you in your sleep, and you're not even gonna wake up. That's how good I am. Oh, right in the eye. That kind of hurt. Come on, man. Oh, bubble. Oh, at least it's not gonna do much damage. See, I have the advantage here. I have other attacks besides water-type attacks, so... You know, he can't really do much against me. So take that, Krabby. I will take my level 25, my 468 EXP. Trying to learn Rain Dance, you know? I'm gonna see what I can. Uh, no, 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 not Rain Dance. I was gonna say, that might just be useless enough to, uh, teach Poliwag, but... Yes, Poliwag is evolving. First evolution on camera. Here we go. Now it has arms! And it's bigger. Da 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 Love that music. Okay, so... see, is there any more dumb trainers around here? No. Okay, good. So we have made it to Olivine City, and I'm afraid we're out of time for today, so that's gonna be where our last, last, where this episode leaves off. Um, if you liked the episode, please leave a like, and subscribe to me for 
daily content and that way you will make sure that you don't miss a single one of my videos. So again, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Till next time, see you guys later. Goodbye everyone.